Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? Very nervous. Very nervous. Why? <laughs> I thought that you were going to say tired or something like that, but not nervous. <laughs> for the activity now it's just a small activity we are going just to practice a little bit and that's it right it's the homework right the homework about the 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 conversation so we are going to practice a little bit we are going to see the template and we are going to to begin in a couple of minutes with that also um some people were asking also if we're, we're going to have classes tomorrow. And yes, we are going to have classes. It will be an exception, right? Because we didn't have class um, on Monday. So the next week will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But uh, this one, we will have one tomorrow. Okay, so uh, th that will be the last, the last class for the week, the first week. So the first week will be over tomorrow. So you see uh, every class is, is, is going really fast actually. And you will see that at the end, you will see that you are, we are going to finish really fast. You won't feel the time because we have a lot of material to cover. So we are going to start with the with conversation. We are going to review the conversation and then we are going to review some of the vocabulary that we practiced yesterday. So I'm going to share my screen right now and you will be able to see the conversation. Vamos a practicar la conversación. Vamos a ver en este momento. This is the conversation that you used to, that you had to practice, right? So we are going to review right now. Let me see. It says, hello, Carlos. I'm so glad to see you. I'm also happy to see you. What did you do this weekend? I went to the shopping center. I bought many shoes. It was great. Did you have fun? I bet you did. Of course I did. What did you do on the weekend? Well, I went to play football. I was very happy playing soccer. And guess what? We won. So that was just the conversation, right? You can change things because you are going to use your own information. So, hello, my name is Edgardo, my name is Lisette, my name is Loe. What did you do yesterday or what did you do today? You can change that. And then you provide your information, right? I had, I helped my children to do their homework. I ate dinner with my grandma. I visited my parents, etc. right? And then in you, what did you do? And then the other person, right? And that's it, that's, that will be the end of the conversation. If you have problems, try to understand, try to continue with the conversation. Um, and that's it, don't get nervous, that it is just an exercise. So I'm going to begin, or we are going to begin with the first conversation. Let me see here. We are going to begin with Maria, Selena, and Jaime. Okay, Maria Cecilia, sorry, Maria Cecilia and Jaime Hernandez. Who will begin, Maria or Jaime? Maria is Shirley. <laughs> okay, Maria will be Shirley, so she will begin, okay? And then you continue, Jaime. Okay. Okay, Maria, you can go ahead. You are on mute right now. Uh, hi, Jaime. Hi, Jaime. Hello, Maria. How are you? I'm very good. Um, what did you do this weekend? This weekend, uh, I went to the church in the morning. Oh, in the Saturday or Sunday? On, on Sunday, in the morning. In the morning. Uh -huh. And you, 
Are you Maria? Uh, yes. yes, I in the in the Sunday I I did work and in, in the morning in, in the I um uh, worked a the at one PM then I I did uh, I did when um I'll uh, make a, a lunch and in the rest, restaurant the Mexican food I drank uh margarita and you what about oh, yes. you? Is, is the question for me? Yeah, what about you? <laughs> okay. Um, on, on Saturday, I, I'm staying the house because it's my, my day is, is request. <laughs> don't, don't job this day, that day. Um, oh, I, I watch only TV because I, I lived uh, uh, with my mom. My, my mom, uh, she, she went uh, to the church. Mm. Oh, in, uh, oh, uh, in, in, in my house uh, actually is um, uh, the, the architect is, is building a um, uh, new house. It's <laughs> <laughs> interesting. In the Sunday, what did you do? On Sunday. In Sunday. When, uh, on Sunday in the morning, I, I, I went to the church um, and then uh, around 12 p.m. with, with my mom, uh, uh, we we were to take a lunch. Uh, we we drink we we drank uh, our uh, uh, orange orange juice. Mm. Is the, it was delicious. Mm. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, very good. So yeah. that's it. That's the end of the conversation, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maria, what, what did you uh, favorite uh, uh, juice or? <laughs> yes. Uh, orange juice is delicious, but oh, my favorite drink is coffee. Oh, coffee? Coffee, yes. In, in in the Sunday, uh, I visit uh, my parents in San Marco City. It's great. Yes. Uh, usually, I I went visit um, in Sunday in the afternoon. Okay. Congratulations, Maria. Thank, Thank you, you for the conversation with me. <laughs> very good. Very good, very good. Thank you, Jaime. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. You did very good. Uh, you just need to practice a little bit more, but the good thing is that you were able to talk to each other and you were able to understand each other. Se pudieron comunicar. That's good. So when we say el domingo, el domingo, verdad? El lunes. Mm -hmm. On, on Sunday, on Monday, Monday, on Tuesday, it's on, ¿verdad? In the Tuesday, no. Eso es español. El viernes, ¿verdad? El jueves. But in English, yeah. it's on, ¿verdad? Oh, it's, okay. it's very common to, to make these kind of mistakes. 
But uh, when we say in the morning, yes, in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, it's okay. And okay. at night, right? At night is the exception. Okay. Also, architect, architect, right? Architect. architect. And orange juice, right? Orange juice, very good. But very good, you did very well. We are, we, we are going to have another one right now, another conversation. Let's see. Flor Damian. Okay. Flor Damian. Are you ready, Flor Damian? Did you do the homework? Do you feel prepared? Yes. Okay. You feel prepared. And we are going to have Tatiana Alarcón. Do you feel prepared, Tatiana? Yes. Okay. Ready. Okay. So who is going to begin, Tatiana or Flor? Flor. Okay, Flor will begin. Okay, so you are going to present or introduce yourself, like to say hi, and then the question, right? What do you do? Go ahead. Um, hi, what did you do on your weekends? Hi, Flor. My name is Tiana. Uh, at weekend, I went to church with my family, and then we went to the beach and enjoyed it a lot. It was great. And what about you? What did you do this weekend? Um, on the last weekend, I went to work because uh, I work on the, on weekends. Uh, my day off is on Wednesday to Thursday, um, but I just did that because I work in a call center so my shift start started at um, 10 a.m and and at 11 at 8 p.m sorry i just did that okay that's great perfect um where about you where are you from can you repeat the question please where do you live or ah i live from lourdes and you i live in san juan pico la libertad okay nice to meet you nice to meet you too very good, very good, Tatiana, very good, Flor, very good. So uh, you did very well. Actually, you have a very good level of English and it was really good, actually. Uh, just remember that it's on weekends, right? On weekends, in the weekend, we can say yes, sometimes during the weekend, probably, but on the weekends, on weekends, right? Um, where are you from, right? I am from right? I am from Lourdes, I am from Pico, or I live. That was okay. Now, question. Yes, Carla. Do you want to participate, Carla? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Carla will participate with the conversation with um, let me see here. Edgardo. Edgardo, because he was nervous, so so you can stop being nervous right now. Because you're going to participate. <laughs> okay. Okay, who will begin? Hello, Edgardo. How are you? Hi, Carla. I'm so glad to see you. And what about you? I am excellent. What do you do this weekend? Uh, well, I... I went to a party uh, where there was a cumbia music. I think is the is the best music to dance. So I danced with my wife and some friends, and I had a lot of fun. And what about you? What did you do on the weekend? On the weekend, on Saturday, I stayed at at home with my family and. On Sunday, I went to the park with my brother and my children, and we ate fruit like apple, apple and grapes with chamoy and tahini, 
And then I bought delicious artisanal coconut ice cream. And my brother and me, we were playing soccer with my children. And only that. Okay. Very good. Yes, that is excellent <laughs> to share uh, the time with the family. You had a, a lot of activity, activities. Yes, of <laughs> course, when I had time, I like to do a lot of things. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. You see, Edgar, you did very good. And Carla also, very good. So you did a lot of activities, it's okay. And you express yourself very good. So it was really good conversation. We are going to, let me see what time it is. We are going to have two more. Let me see. Um, we are going to have Noe. Noe, are you, are you prepared to participate? Or you're not prepared, do you feel ready? Yes, okay. Noé is going to practice with um, Maria. Are you prepared to, to practice with Noé, Maria? Can you practice the conversation? The conversation, did, uh, did you practice the conversation or? Yes. Okay, so can you, can you, can you practice right now? Yes, is, is it okay for you? Okay, so Maria will begin and then Noe, okay? Yes. Hello, Noe. I'm so glad to see you. Noe. Noe, are you there? <laughs> Microphone. The microphone, Noe, yes. Noe. Okay, we lost Noe for some reason. He's not there anymore. Probably he had some problem with that connection. Are you there, Noe? Yes, I can okay. hear you. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Problem with uh, my computer. Okay, no problem. Okay. Sorry, Maria. Uh, sorry, Maria. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hello. Permítame, permítame. Hoy me escuchan. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hello, Noe. I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Maria. Nice to meet you. Nice Good to meet you. Too. Good evening. What did you do this weekend? Uh, in this weekend, I went um, uh, play soccer with my son. I saw, I saw you last time. Did you have fun time? Uh, yes, always I, I, I went with my son and, and the park as soccer for And you, Maria, what did you do, Maria? Um, well, I didn't, nothing special, teacher, because uh, I stay at home with my family uh, because my relatives visit me. Uh, I made uh, barbecues for lunch. Uh, for a night, I watch a, we watch a uh, TV and play at video game. Um, but it's um, my mom, my father is uh, drinking some uh, glasses, the wine, and they song all night. But was funny. 
you have fun with your family, right? Teacher. Yes. Yes. Es que estoy teniendo problema con mi equipo ya de sonido. Yes, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. Se me está so, cortando. Ajá, se me está cortando. Okay, no problem, Noé. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. And Maria, thank you. We are going to practice a little bit. Uh, you did it very well. Very good. And we are going to have one last uh, couple. We are going to have, let me see. Maria, are you there? Yes, it's Okay, are you ready to participate? Yes. Okay, and Juan Carlos. We're going to practice with Juan Carlos. So it's the same conversation. Let me see. Yes, the same conversation, okay? Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Who, who behind, teacher? Yes, with Maria. Okay. Hello, Maria. I am so glad to see you. Your microphone is off, Maria. Yes, Maria. Are you there? <laughs> okay, please. Okay. Hello, Maria. I am so glad to see you. Hello, Carlos. Uh, I'm happy to see you. What did you, what did you do this weekend? The last weekend I took care to my dad and I took advertise and played video game. Of course, I put the language in English because I need to practice the listening. And on Sunday, I cooked for my family and they were very happy for the moment that we shared. Oh, did you have fun time? Of course, Maria. What did you do on the weekend? Well, my weekend, I didn't, I didn't nothing special because I stayed at home with my family. Uh, my, my relative visited me and I made a barbecue for lunch. But after a night, I played, played video games and my father and my mom uh, drank sunglasses, the wine, and they song song all night. It's funny. It was funny. Okay. That was it, right? That was the end of the conversation, right? Okay, very good. Okay, you're very good. You did it very good. Uh, thank you for your participation, Juan. Thank you. And also, Maria Siguenza, when uh, we used didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, do anything special, right? I didn't do anything special this weekend, um, but I had some relatives to, they visited me, right? So we are, you did it very good. It was really good conversation. But now we are going to practice something that a little bit of pronunciation. Um, these are words that probably you are mentioning, probably not in the correct way. So we are going to practice it, okay? We are going to practice just the pronunciation. For example, we have headaches. Headaches, what is headaches? Dolor de cabeza, ¿verdad? headaches. Theologist, theologist. ¿Cómo se dice compañía de seguros? Insurance company in charge in charge is when you are responsible for something right cuando uno está a cargo in charge request request es solicitar algo verdad request and the pass of request is requested annual is something that is that happens every year right annual we have audit also, eh, una auditoría. Alguien parece que me mencionó que trabajaba con auditorías. ¿Cómo se dice auditoría? 
audit. When, cuando uno ya está pensionado, ¿cómo se dice? Retired. Retired. So you are retired. Caro es ganado. Alguien parece que lo mencionó. Watch. Ok. ¿Cómo se dice watch in the past? Watch it. Watch no. It. Watch it. No. Is watched. Watched with a T at the end. Uh -huh. Watched. Travel in the past is travel it. No. Travel it. No. Is traveled with a D at the end. Traveled. Church. We don't say church. We don't say church. We say church, right? Church. The past of work. I work last weekend. So it's with a T, right? Worked. In English, it's really difficult to notice these uh, sounds, but they pronounce it like really small sounds, but they pronounce these words. So it's worked. Exhausting, something that is really tiring. Algo que nos cansa mucho es exhausting. Serious. Serious would be always in plural, right? Serious. I watch one series, two series, three series, always with an S. Brush my teeth, right? Brush my teeth. The, the, the pass is brushed with a T, brushed. Watch is over there again. Receive, recibir, ¿verdad? The pass is receive it. No, receive it. No, is received, received. Vegetables is another a uh, complicated word, vegetables. E the pass, the pass of wake up is woke up, right? I woke up at seven, I woke up at nine, I woke up at ten, woke up. That is the the pass, right? So these are some uh words that we were that I heard the last last class and that probably we have to practice a little bit more, right? We're going to practice the pronunciation probably tomorrow. We are going, I will give you like some tips for pronunciation for regular verbs. But those are like general words, right? Watch, annual, audit, theologies, headaches, church. So you can keep on practicing. Now we are going to begin with the class right now. Um, the objective for this class, it says here, Build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negative and short answers with used to. Learn English phrases. I used to be very messy when I was a kid, but now I'm very neat. And I didn't use to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day. An oral English comprehension exercise is included, but that is before, right? Or, or actually, that is in the platform. So today we are going to study used to, right? Used to. What does it mean, used to? Who knows? What is the meaning of used to? Solía. Solía hacer. Exactly. Solía. Yo solía, verdad? Solía is something that. Uh, we used to do before, we don't do it anymore. We stopped doing it. For example, over there it says, I used to be very messy. Messy is like disorganized, right? But now I'm very neat. I'm very organized. Then we have an example of a question. Did you used to collect things? Yes. I used to collect comic books. No. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. What sports did you used to play? That is another question, right? WH question. I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis. So that, those are examples. So as we can see there, used to mean something that we are accustomed to or habituated to, but we use it to talk about a past situation that is no longer true. We don't do it anymore. We have some examples here. She used to be a long distance runner when she was younger. That is affirmative, right? A positive statement. The second one, it says, I didn't use to sleep very well, but then I started doing yoga and it really helps. I didn't used to, I, I, need, I need you to check this. I didn't and used to. And the first one used to is in the past, but this one is not in the past because we are using the auxiliary didn't, right? So it's the same. 
like the past tense. And the question, did you used to come here as a child? That is a question, right? Interrogative. So did you, if we use the auxiliary, you can check the used to is in present, right? So because of the auxiliary. So those are some examples. And also in the platform, you can study the, the formulas, right? For positive statements, for negative statements, for questions, right? For affirmative statements, for example, we have this formula. It says subject plus used to plus verb in the present plus complement. So we if we follow this structure, we are going to create the correct order, right, of, of words to create these kind of sentences. And we have examples here. I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. So those are just the formulas. Negative statements. We have negative statements using never. We can use never for negative, not only didn't, right? So for example, I never used to play sports but now I play every day. I never used to play sports, but now I play every day. That's from negative, that's a negative statement. And then we have the other one that we use with didn't, right? Subject plus didn't used to, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't use to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. The newspaper, sorry. I didn't use to collect anything, but I do now. Entonces, son cosas que no solíamos, que, sol, que solíamos hacer, pero ahora este, ya no las hacemos. O el contrario, ¿verdad? Algo que no solíamos hacer y ahora hacemos. And interrogative, just no questions, right? Did you used to play sports in high school? Yes, I used to play sports in high school. Or no, I didn't used to play sports in high school. Questions with used to. So for just no question, we can omit the, the red words, like the, the WH word, and we can follow the, the next uh, the next parts, right? Like did, plus subject, plus used to, plus verb in the present, plus complement. And we have um, the, the example there. Did you use to collect things? So that is a just no question, right? And we have WH questions, right? Where do you, where do you use to study when you were in high school? When I was in high school, I used to study in Colegio Centroamericano. Remember that um, those names in Spanish, they don't change, right? The, pron the, the proper names. And we have the structural questions with used to. WH word plus did plus subject plus used to plus verb in the present plus complement. The same, right? If, if you follow that, you cannot commit mistakes. What sports do you used to play? What video games did you used to play when you were a kid? So let me see. Yes. So I don't know if you have any question about the usage of used to. Do you have questions about this? Or it's easy, right? It's easy. It's difficult. Is it difficult for you? No, right? Easy. Okay. We are going to practice first. We are going to practice talking, right? Talking. Um with this topic, right? Um, we're going to talk about something that happened to us um, like two years, it started like two years ago. It happened to the whole world. Everything changed in a way because of the pandemic, right? Everybody like starting like worrying, everybody like starting like working from home and we, had, we were in a lockdown, right? Lockdown, like in quarantine, right? In, all the world, the whole world went in quarantine and lockdown. So I want you to tell me um, and also participate if you haven't participated yet, try to participate in this activity. I want you to tell me uh, what things you used to do while you were at home during the lockdown in the quarantine and you don't do anymore. For example, I used to listen to podcasts, right? Uh, a different podcast because I, it was really late at night and I was at home and I was not able to sleep because I was worried, right? Like what was going to happen if I was going to get sick or not. Now it's like more normal, right? 
but then I started listening to podcasts. So I used to listen to podcasts every night. I don't do it anymore. I listen to podcasts, but not every night. And also I started watching um, a series, but with my friends, right? At the same time. So we used to watch a series or movies together. And we were like online, like connecting and sending text messages or audios, right? We don't do it anymore because it is kind of complicated because of the time. And also because we don't pay attention to the series or the movie that we are watching. So I we used to do that, but we don't do it anymore. So I want you to tell me something that you used to do when you were at home with your family or alone and you don't do anymore. I don't know if you have a, a volunteer here who wants to participate, who hasn't participated yet. Someone? <laughs> Did you get the instructions? Did you get the idea for the activity? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, who wants to participate? Who wants to share their, their experience? For Alicia? example, in my case, mm -hmm. um, I used to use my cell phone when I stay with my family, but now I didn't use my cell phone when I stay with my family because I think it's important to listen them. And I think it's a great moment when you are with your family. Okay, very good. So you used to uh, pay attention to your cell phone, but now you don't do it because yes, it's but important. I didn't right? do. Okay, it's important like to, to, to share time with your family. Yes. Okay, that's a very good change because of the pandemic, yes. Somebody else? Me. Um, I used to watch the news every day at night with my parents. Mm -hmm. And now you don't watch the news with your parents anymore? No. Okay, and why? Why did you stop watching the news with your parents? What happened? Because uh, usually the news are, are around 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. And at that time I was at home. Mm -hmm. But uh, in this time I worked. So I cannot do that anymore. Okay, very good. So at that time you were at home, everybody was at home, right? And now you cannot do it because you're working. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that's something that you used to do. Very good. Somebody else, something that you used to do during the pandemic and you don't do anymore. Me? Okay, Tatiana. Uh, in my case, I never used to stay at home because uh, in that moment, I was a cashier in a bank and I worked a lot. So you have to work, you have to go to work. Yes. You didn't stay at home. No, and I didn't you at home. Okay, and you do you continue working in a bank or you stop working there? I stopped working there. So you used actually, to work in a bank. I actually am an accounting assistant. Mm -hmm, an accountant assistant? Yeah. Okay, so you don't know that I can share anymore in that bank. You used to work there. Yes. Okay, very good. Very good, very good experience because some people they never stop working, like doctors or other people like in a bank. Very good. Now, another participant, please, who hasn't participated yet. Me, teacher. You said, okay, you said, go ahead. Let's see. Um, in my class, uh, uh, for the uh, those that they are bored, and I decided to the watch video uh, tutoriales. Tutorials, yes. T tutorials on YouTube. Uh, without uh, that, I was in uh, making a piece of furniture. You were doing. Uh, you, you were watching tutorials to to make. Oh, furniture? The, the no no uh tutorial. How do you say tutorial? Tutorials. Tutorials. Uh, the eh, trabajar la madera. 
Yes, you work on wood. To, to do, what, what did you create? <clears throat> what did you make with the wood? ¿Qué hacía con la madera? I, uh, no, I watch uh, the video. Uh, um, the uh, work the table. Mm -hmm. um, and como digo, al final terminé. At the end, I finished. At the end, I finished uh, making a piece of furniture. Oh, <laughs> very good. Imagine that a lot of people like, started watching tutorials and then they created things. They started cooking. They started like making like furniture like you're right. Very good. Very interesting. You have to be you have to keep busy right your mind in those moments. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, another another opinion? Somebody me, teacher, me. Edgardo, okay. Edgardo, you're not me. nervous anymore, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um, I used to play soccer very often, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't do it anymore. You don't do it. So during the pandemic, you were you used to play soccer. Who did you, you used to play with? Um, yeah, I I play soccer very often with my closer friends. Mm -hmm. So now we have another activi uh, activities to do because all my older, uh, all my closer friends get older like me. <laughs> and for that reason pues, um, we look for a, another activity to do yes i i guess that, yeah, that's happened with with people right with time <laughs> but you used to you used to play soccer with your friends and you don't play anymore no okay very good probably one day you get together right and you can play something and maybe maybe we we think a lot of this uh, a lot uh, to do this and um, again, yes, you, you plan it, but so it sometimes it's difficult. Yeah, yes. I understand. Okay, very good. Thank you, Edgardo. Who else wants to participate? Something that you used to do and you don't do anymore? Me, teacher. <laughs> okay, Jaime. Um, when I was a child, I, I used to stay at home a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Watch TV, listen music, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Actually, I used to stay in my job very time. A lot of time. A lot of time, yes. What do you do for a job? My job, uh, up, out, 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 yes. Uh, out, 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 you do audit? Yes, yes, yeah. I, I am audit. You are an auditor. Yes, I I work in uh, Ministerio de Hacienda. Okay, okay. So you are you keep very busy, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So you used to watch a lot of TV. Uh, you you used to yes. listen to music, and you don't do that off that that much. Yes, yeah, those activities. Okay. It, so probably you can take some time <clears throat> one day, probably two. Uh, you can relax doing different activities, right? Probably. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Noe. Thank you, Jaime. Sorry. And we are going to have someone who hasn't participated. Let me see here. Rosa Maria Merino, raise your hand. Okay, Rosa, tell me what that what's something that you used to do and you don't do anymore that you used to enjoy probably. I used to play football at my college. A long time ago. Now don't do any exercise for for the time. So you used to play soccer. Uh, yes. Okay. I, okay, soccer. You play soccer, and mm -hmm. what position did you play? Like you were um, the goalkeeper. Uh, the um, defensa. Defensa. Okay. Um, I guess that is on the front line, or but I will look for it because I don't want to give you wrong information. But defense, where you where you good? Forward. Forward. Yeah. Okay. For forward. Forward. Forward in the forward, forward. position. Forward. 
Okay. Okay. Jaime knows. You see, Jaime knows. So, forward is delantero. 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 Forward. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know the position. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not very used to talk about sports, but I will investigate. Were you, were, were you good at soccer, Rosa? Excuse me? Were you good? Were you a good player? Mm, no. <laughs> no. No, you used to play just very, because... Very bad. <laughs> very bad player. Very bad, but you used to have fun, right? You used to have fun yes. with your... Okay, very good. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of difficult to do some kind of exercise or any activity, physical activity, but we have to find some time, right, for ourselves. Yeah, that's something important. Um, who else wants to participate? We have Walter, we have Gabriela, we have Jose, we have Mauricio, we have Azucena, we have Brian, we have Carla, Gabriela, okay. Okay, Gabriela. Uh, okay. Um, well, uh, I used to, I used to wake up um, very late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But now I am, I am swimming in the pool in the park uh, near of my house. Oh, so you wake up early? Yes, I, now I woke up five o'clock. At five o'clock a.m. And, and you start swimming really early in the morning. <laughs> yes. And during the pandemic, you used to um, wake up late or before the pandemic? Um, uh, before. Before the pandemic. Okay. At what time did you used to wake up? Uh, almost uh, seven o'clock, and I used to and I used to be late. In my in my work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I I I I I feel you. I I I believe that. Probably sometimes we are in the same situation. But seven is not that late. But probably for your job it was kind of late, right? But okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you, Gabriela, for your participation. And we are going to have Noé Noé Vasquez. Okay. Hey, teacher. Uh, in my case, I used to work here in Santa Ana. But the uh, pandemic, COVID, uh, they give me opportunity to uh, work in my home, my company. So you used to work in Santa Ana? Yes, every day. Every day. And now where do you work? Uh, yes. Um, now I work in my home. You used to work in Santa Ana, now you work from home. Yes. What is your job about? What do you do? Um, my job is um, coordinate, administrator, administrator, uh, coordinator. Coordinator. Yes. Okay. Okay. Is it difficult to be a coordinator from home? Uh, a little. Um, <laughs> I see. I see all the company. Um, the this moment I study studying in law, uh, como se dice lavado de dinero. Lavado de dinero, like, uh -huh. I don't know, I will look for it. But you started like investigating lavado de dinero, like coordinate that, or that was like es something que, that you noticed in your job? Es como ahorita estamos, estoy recibiendo un diplomado en lavado de dinero. Porque... Oh, a training. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces, este, porque soy, eh, because I am responsible for all, all activities the company, administration, mm -hmm. importation, importation, uh, sell, eh, 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 trámites, no sé cómo se dice trámites, fiscales, Ministerio okay. de Hacienda. Okay, so you are you keep very busy. Mon, lavado de dinero is money laundering. Okay, money laundering. So money called, laundering. Money laundering, yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay, but thank you for your participation, Noel. Thank, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. 
Now uh, we are going to continue with the class. Thank you for all your participation and thank you for everything that you have shared with us. Um, something that you used to do and you don't do anymore, right? Or you're missing doing, right? So we are going to continue with used to. We have the formulas here just to finish. We are going to practice with questions, right? Uh, so we have questions here. We are going to practice we used to with uh, questions, right? We have the answer and we need to guess the question. Tenemos la respuesta, vamos a adivinar la pregunta. Number one or the first one is, yes, she used to play sports when she was in high school. So yes, she used to play sports when she was in high school. What is the question? It's a just no question, right? So what is the question for she used to play sports when she was in high school? Does, does she used to play sport when she was in high school? Okay, very good, kind of, because you are, um, the, the, um, the question is in present. You are creating the question in present, right? You're making it in, in present. So in past is did, did, did she did she used to she used exactly to did she used to play sports when she was in high school yes she used to play sports when she was in high school very good very good now next one she used to play soccer and basketball what is the question did she used to play did she used to and play soccer and basketball did she play Okay, that what, would be, kind, what, what kind, kind of sport do you do she <laughs> used to play? Very good, Carla. Very good. What kind or, or what sports did she used to play? She used to play soccer and basketball. That is a WH, right? It's providing more information. The third one, I used to live in Santa Tecla. What is the question? Where did you where, where live? Do you, where? where did you used to live? Where did you, where where did you, you live? Very good, WH again, all right? Where did you used to live? I yes. used to live in Santa Tecla. And the last one, no, I didn't used to live in San Miguel. What is the question? Did you used to live in San Miguel? In San Miguel? Very good. Did you used to did live in San Miguel? Live? Yes, it's a just no question. Remember, did you used to live in San Miguel? No, I didn't used to live in San Miguel. Okay, so we are going to see the response, right? We have here the answers. The, the questions, right? Did she used to play sports when she was in high school? Yes, she used to play sports when she was in high school. The next question, what sports did she used to play? She used to play soccer and basketball. Next one, where did you used to live? I used to live in Santa Tecla. And the last one, did you used to live in San Miguel? No, I didn't used to live in San Miguel. So very good. Thank you very much for your participation. And I can see that you are able to create questions and use the used, right? If you find it kind of difficult, you just need to practice a little bit. And how are you going to practice? You're going to practice following the formulas, right? With this, you can create and make like different questions, right? Write it with your own information, with different, you just need to follow the structures, okay? With used to. Now to finish the class, uh, we have an activity, but actually this is like an activity that we can do later write or say something that you actually we already did it right you used to do and you don't do anymore try to use the structures and formulas in affirmative negative and interrogative for example when i was younger i used to go out and dance every weekend now i like to spend my weekends in my house watching movies and doing house chores and you what did you used to do before so that's something that we already practice. Um, we can keep on practicing. And if you want to, just to check, right? 
just to check the people who hasn't participated yet. For example, Jose Leonardo, can you tell me something that you used to do before and you don't do anymore? Are you there, Jose Leonardo Cortez Gonzalez? No? Okay, probably he's busy, probably, right? Uh, let's see with uh, Mauricio. Are you there, Mauricio? Alexander, Reese? Mauricio? Yes, teacher, tell me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. You, you were kind of busy, okay, no problem. Um, can you tell me something that you used to do before and you don't do anymore? Mm. Let me see. I used to, I used to run in the morning. You used now, to run in the morning. Yes. Now I, I didn't run in the morning on due to the due to the by my work because of your work. Okay, so you don't do it anymore. Uh, in the afternoon is is possible for me. In the afternoon, so you still you you yes. still keep on running in the afternoon. Yes, in the afternoon is okay. Okay. Very good. So you don't, you used to run in the mornings, but now you do it in the afternoons. Correct. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much for your participation. <laughs> and we are going to have someone else. The last one. Let's see. Carla Merino. Carla Merino, you already participated or not? Hello, Carla, are you there? Yes, yes, teacher. An example, I used to, mm -hmm. yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I used to ride bicycle, but I, I, don't, I don't do anymore. You don't do it anymore. Why did you stop uh, riding your bicycle? I uh, I don't have a, a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> a bicycle, okay. You cannot run, but you can't you cannot I ride the bicycle. I don't ride anymore. Okay, I understand. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't have a bicycle, you cannot ride it, right? Okay, very good. I understand, very good, no problem. Yeah. So uh, that's something that we studied today, the used to. That okay. is a very useful expression. Thank you very much for your participation, Carla. So we are going to finish the class, but okay. before finishing the class, we are going to give you like a little bit of homework. You don't have to practice anything. You just need to investigate a little bit. Or if you remember about this topic, if you have checked the, the um, platform, you will be able to, to see it there, right? I just want you to investigate or, or have like this kind of idea of uncountable and countable nouns, right? In Spanish, we also have countable and uncountable nouns, but we are going to study that we, in something else um, for next class. And also we are going to review probably next uh, tomorrow, right? Because tomorrow we, we are going to have the class. Probably we are going to review what we have studied this week. Just a little bit, um, a little exercise we, that we are going to do tomorrow about that, right? Just reviewing everything. So I don't know if you have any question right now. If you have, a, if you don't have questions, we are going to see you tomorrow, okay, at the same time. Okay, no questions, right? Do you have questions? No. No, no, no questions. No, no. no. Okay. So I wish you a very good uh, evening, good night, rest, and take care. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. I see you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 B